Welcome to Packet Tracer 1.2.4.5, representing the network. Packet Tracer Network Representation. Objectives, Part 1, Overview of the Packet Tracer Program. Part 2, Exploring LANs, WANs, and Internets. And there's the background, you can read that. It's just about the Packet Tracer software program. And we're going to go to Part 1, Overview of the Packet Tracer Program. Step 1, access the Packet Tracer help pages, tutorial videos, and online resources. And as you can see, there's two ways you can do this. First way would be the, the question mark, which is right here. You hit that, and you're, you get there. And the next way is to go to help, and you can go to contents, and same thing. So since we're here already, we'll start with this. So it looks like they want us to go to uh, view interface overview video in the getting started section to tutorial. Let's go down here to tutorials, getting started, interface overview. And there's a video, it's about six minutes. You can play that and it gives you uh, the information that is described. Number two, view the simulation environment video in the real time and simulation modes section of tutorials. So real time and simulation videos. And right here is the simulation environment. Another video, it's about three minutes. You can watch that as well. After watching that, you can answer. After that, you can go to configure devices using the desktop tab. So configure devices desktop tab video and this will answer the question what information can you configure in the IP configuration window step 2 toggle between real-time and simulation modes let's close the help window and you can see we have down here bottom right real-time and simulation window modes here so we can go to here and here so I click here and here in the simulation panel click autoplay and you can see the packets moving from devices we can do it again yeah we can pause that so we can pause that now now let's click click capture forward to go to the next step and we didn't see that it's over here right here so let's do it again capture forward see there we go kind of nice there we got all those now let's investigate one of the packets let's go to accounting here we have some information we can answer here under the OSI model tab, how many in layers and out layers have information? Well, we can see here in layers, we have a layer one, a layer two. There's two uh, things of information. And the out layer is there is none. So, answers that question. Under the inbound PDU details and the outbound PDU details, what are the headings of the major sections? Well, all we have is inbound. So, here we go Ethernet, STP. Those are the major ones there. Click back and forth between the inbound and outbound. I don't have an outbound, so I can't do that. Click the toggle button above simulation in the bottom right corner to return to real time. There we go, back in real time. Step three, toggle between logical and physical views. Top left corner of the Packet Tracer software, you see logical and physical. We can go back and forth. See here, this is gives you an overview. I guess the physical gives you a very large view of it. Here's a logical. Part two, exploring lands, wans, and internets. 
the network model in this activity incorporates many of the technologies that we'll, you will master in your CCNA studies. It represents a simplified version of how a small to medium sized business network might look. Feel free to explore the network on your own. When ready, proceed through the following steps and answer the questions. Step 1. Common components of a network as represented in Packtracer. The icon toolbar has various categories of network components. You should see categories that correspond to intermediate devices, end devices, and media, which are all down here. The connections category with a lightning bolt represents the network media supported by Packet Tracer. There's also end devices category and two categories specific to Packet Tracer, custom made devices and multi-user connections. And miscellaneous is right there. So. List the intermediate device categories. Without entering into the internet cloud or intranet cloud, how many icons in the topology represent endpoint devices? Only one connection leading to them. Without counting in the two clouds, how many icons in the topology represent intermediate devices? Multiple connections leading to them. How many intermediate devices are routers? Note, the Linksys device is a router. How many end devices are not desktop computers? How many different types of media connections are used in this network topology? Why isn't there a connection icon for wireless in the connections category? Step two, explain the purpose of the devices. In the packet tracer, the server PT device can act as a server. The desktop and laptop PCs cannot act as a server. Is that true in the real world? Based on your study so far, explain the client server model. List at least two functions of intermediary devices. List at least two criteria for choosing a network media type. Step three, compare and contrast LANs and WANs. Explain the difference between a LAN and a WAN. Give examples of each. In the Packet Tracer network, how many WANs do you see? How many LANs do you see? The internet in this packet tracer network is overly simplified and does not represent the structure and form of the real internet. Briefly describe the internet. What are some of the common ways a home user connects to the internet? What are some common methods that businesses use to connect to the internet in your area? Challenge. Now that you have had an opportunity to explore the network represented in this packet tracer activity, 
you may have picked up a few skills that you'd like to try out. So what we're going to do here is we're going to add an end device to topology connected to one of the LANs with a media connection. So let's go down to an end device down here and see if we can end devices. We'll go to the first one here. We're just going to go to um, go to PC. I'm going to put it right there. We need to connect it. So go lightning bolt and we're going to use a copper straight through and we'll start here and we'll connect it from the router to the PC to fast Ethernet zero. What else does this device need to send data to other end users? Can you provide the information? Is there a way to verify that you're correctly connected to the air device? Well, to get the information connected to this device, let's look and see what we have here. The IP configuration. We have really nothing here. So we do need to fill these, these out. So to fill those out, let's go to the home desktop and let's go see what the configuration is for the home. As you can see, these are the configurations we're concerned with. We're gonna use all the same ones except this IP address. We're gonna change it to have its own IP, but everything else will be exactly the same. So let's go ahead and copy the DNS server. So don't forget that. And I know what these are already. I remember those, it's pretty easy, pretty standard. And let's close this out and go back to PC zero, our new PC. And let's go ahead and put in the DNS server here. This will be the first thing we should put in. Paste that in. And let's go ahead and put in the IP address. We're gonna do uh, 120. And set it mask is already good. We need the default gateway, which will be the same thing as the IP, but it'll be one. And that should be good. Click that, click that. And now we have green, which verifies that we have connectivity. Add a new intermediary device to one of the networks and connect it to one of the LANs or WANs with immediate connection. All right, let's do that, shall we? Let's go to a switch. And we'll do this one, and we'll put it right there. And let's connect it as well. We shall connect it with this copper. Let's go through fast Ethernet 1, 2, Ethernet 4 to the router. And that will connect up in a minute. And uh, after this, we will do the open a new instance of Packet Tracer. And you can do this yourself. Just follow the instructions. It's um, pretty easy to do. And you'll create your own LAN and WAN. And uh, thank you again for watching my video. And please hit subscribe. Um, if you have any questions or comments, uh, leave them down below. I usually answer questions in about a day. So uh, thank you again for watching Ultimate Tech Hub. And um, this is the Packet Tracer playlist. And uh, we'll be uploading a lot more of these, about two or three a week. So thank you very much for watching.